What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'll be playing some compound hardpoint. I went off, so did Nikki D. I turned on burns, I think, at some point, and this is just some great gameplay. I love the maps. I wanted to share this with you guys while I talk over the video. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the key to winning. Now, a lot of people go, hey, what have you done? You suck. Or, you know, if you never won an event before, or all these all this nonsense. But for your info, I've won three events. And I've played second about four or five times. I can't remember the exact number because if you went first, you know, you last. That's how it goes. But even I've played well, extremely well, in every final I've played. If you guys saw me play at Gfinity, you know, I played, had a really good event against Optic. Unfortunately, we lost by two rounds. If you guys ever saw me playing Black Ops once against Fear, I clutched a 1v4 in S&D with Bomb Down. And it's, you know, it's an incredible feeling. Play, when it comes to finals, you want to play out of your mind. You want to play to your best potential. And I just feel like every time I got to finals, I always unlock that that zone, you know, that zone where you get where you you play complete. You you're you're basically playing flawless, you know. You almost have no mistakes. You're destroying. You're you're making plays, plays that you never thought you could make. And that's just how I feel. But in today's video, I want to talk about three main things, three important things outside of individual skill, raw skill, a lot of that a lot of players have. And I feel like in this game, it is, it is rewarded more. I feel like gun skill, uh, individual skill is rewarded more just because I will have to say the movement. Like, you could do so much in this game by yourself, especially with the movement allowing you to push throughout the map, you know, completely just dominate by yourself. But first of all is communication. Communication is the most, most, most important thing out of all three. If you don't agree with me, you're crazy. Second thing is chemistry. Chemistry is also extremely important. And the third thing I'll have to talk about is vibes. So in today's video, we'll be talking about all those three things and kind of giving you a good description and, uh, you know, it's changing your mind for the better because it's really important that you guys know about this. So first off, communication. Now, communication is the most important things. You know, I personally have pretty good communication. I used to slack back then, especially in Ghost and the beginning of Advanced Warfare. I didn't have the best connect the communication, right? I, I slacked a lot. People said my communication was ass at times. I could be really quiet. And that's a bad thing. You know, you want to have four teammates that constantly communicate what they're doing, what they see, um, you know, that they're helping you. Whatever the case may be, you know, you need teammates like that to win. Uh, I feel like Optic has that. Uh, you know, all of them communicate really well for the most part. I feel like FaZe has that, uh, Optic Nation has that. You know, a lot of teams have it, but not every team has it. Not every player is like that. And I feel like that's what play, that's what holds them back. You know, my communication used to be shit. Uh, it's definitely improved a lot over time. And that's the thing when you're looking at players. You know, you don't look at a player just by his individual skill. Like, oh my god, he's so good. But you know, that communication can help you lose your team or help your team win. If you don't call something out that's really important, you know, you're in the zone, you're playing your own game, individual skill, yeah, you get a kill. And then you then call out someone doing this or you weren't watching this and boom, a guy breaks through breaks through the hard point, gets a two-piece, and you lose the map. So things like that, you know, communication is a, a most important big part of winning. Uh, especially when it comes to teamwork. You know, you gotta how are you gonna how are you gonna have good teamwork if you're not communicating what you're doing? Some like small talk. You wanna push out a hill, uh, you see if you spawn out, you die, let's say you die, you're, you're gonna help your team out, you see four dead, and you're like, all right, uh, you wait for me there, we're coming right now, I'm gonna need hill, and we're gonna pinch it together, we're gonna break it. And then you, your team does exactly that. But let's say you guys barely communicate, you're just gonna go headless in the hill and hope for the best. And that's not the most consistent way of playing, that's obviously gonna make you lose a lot, you know? Communication, like I said, is a really important thing. And for example, you have players like, it also comes down to tone of voice. You know, communication is good. Uh, I feel like there's factors in communication. For example, tone of voice, um, small talk. If you're calling out cr like intensely crazy, there's two things. One, you can completely cut out your your team's communication, right? If someone's screaming at the top of your lungs and it's so loud and constantly calling out everything he's seeing, everything he's doing. He might be calling out a lot of useful stuff, but at the same time, he's probably calling out a couple useless things that it's not that important to know. And you rather have your teammates, you know, call out what they're doing and what they see. Because if I'm like, oh my gosh, what's trying to be at you? You're going to be like, what the hell? Like, I am i can't even call out. So I'm just going to stay quiet and just play the game. And that's like, some players do call out like that, frantic. And also frantic call outs, you know. If you're calling out frantically, if you're calling out, like you're dying like oh my god he's going to be happy oh my god he's help 
and you're just there like in a in a 1v1 gunfight you know you, it's nothing that important but in your head your teammates players like holy shit this guy needs help he's calling out like he's gonna die like someone is stabbing him right now i need to do my best go there right now and help him and you just you overlook everything like your positioning uh where you're at if there's someone behind you if you could die from the side or whatever the case may be and it goes like the tone exactly so tone of voice and for example you look at someone like formal uh, he doesn't I feel like his communication has improved. He has really 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 good communication The only thing is I feel like he sometimes doesn't call out much But overall like his call outs are so calm, you know, it could be you could be in a 1v4 And he will be like he'll be like all right Seth There's a guy um, there's a guy top middle behind you and the way he calls out I feel like it makes you feel so confident and calm like you're you you're there's no pressure on you like that's how he makes it seem like oh this kid's what there's one right here this i got this there's no th like like it makes it seem like that but someone's constantly like frantic and calling, oh my god what's up behind you oh my god, get it, get it. i feel like it's more like you have to win this there's more pressure on you like it's the end of the world if you don't win this he needs help you need to get there now if not you would lose the game like it feels like that you know so tone of voice is a huge thing also small talk if you look like at enable he has really good small talk i think uh seth i've listened in uh watched the streams a couple times he has good small talk as well small talk helps so much when it comes to teamwork and and all that you know so communication is a huge thing and that's what i feel like a lot of players lack so another thing i want to talk about now is chemistry chemistry is a big part of you know playing well as a team as a unit placing well if you look at teams who had <coughs> recent success like optic they've teamed together since the beginning of the game at least a core of three since the beginning of game they've gone through everything they have so much chemistry so much teamwork and i feel like that's a huge reason why they're ahead of a lot of teams i mean if you look at their s d or respawn whatever me they've had been through almost every situation think about it they've been through every situation together whether it's losing and winning they've saw what didn't work what did work uh s and i mean they do this they do what works every time you know they've played together so long they could they know what works and what doesn't so that's why it's it's so good to have so much chemistry and just playing together for a long time. And chemistry could be inside of gaming and outside of gaming, you know, chilling together, watching a movie together. I've watched a movie with probably all my teammates that I've had, almost every single teammate, whether it's a movie, mainly movie theater, you know, when we go to events, I'm like, hey, you want to chill and watch a movie? And I'll be like, yeah, I'm down. And stuff like that, you know, chemistry, I feel like is a huge thing. And it's also how comfortable you are with your teammate. If you aren't that comfortable, if you... If you like you have no chemistry, you don't feel right telling him, Oh, you did this wrong or you know, how can you improve? You won't you will you will never improve as a team because you're never gonna be able to tell your team, you know, what, what he can do to fix himself, what he can do to make our team better. So a lot of teams need to take notes. Um, at least I understand with Optic though, you know, they had so much success, they have so much individual skill, they have so much raw skill, and they you know, they're all good players. Why would they make a change? The only change they person to change was Nade for karma which personally was obviously a really good move but you know a lot of teams are i guess trying to find that four good players that they could do the same but once you find those players you got to stick with them you know even even if you don't place that well some events teams that do stick together are more likely to have success just because they play together so much they've gone through all they've been through thick and thin together thin together right you know they they realize what went wrong what they didn't work and unless like some player individually is completely shitting the bed you know then obviously you know maybe a change should is it, kind of necessary but if they're you know if you guys are all playing well together for the most part one of you is shitting the bed here and there it's not like it's not like it's one person you know it's like a team kind of thing then you know you stick together and work together fix fix all your mistakes and you're bound to place good you're bound to play better you know practice doesn't make perfect now the last thing i want to say before i go is vibes a lot of people feel like i guess don't really talk about it much there's certain players that do and i feel like having good vibes is a is it's a pretty i would say huge part of winning but it is kind of important you know you want a team with players that you do like and you know that will have good vibes. If you team with like somebody that you hate or gets you really mad or frustrated and stuff like that, you're bound to have days where you just hate playing Call of Duty. You're bound to have days where your team's gonna be really inconsistent and you're gonna lose a lot and then you're gonna win depending how skillful your team is. So I feel like having the good vibes in game is really, really, really important. You know, you wanna you wanna be good, you wanna you wanna feel good, you know, you wanna feel happy while you're playing. I think a huge thing of playing 
good at events or online is having fun. You know, if, if you have a, a team that you really enjoy playing with, that you're having fun with, you're going to play good. Just because you're there's no stress, there's nothing on your back, like, screaming, you know, like, you're just so angry, you don't, you're, like, frustrated, you don't want to play. You're, you're going to do good. So Call of Duty can be stressful online, but either way, like, having good vibes and having a team that you really enjoy playing helps more than rather having bad vibes. If someone's constantly bitching, and someone's constantly getting in your in your face or getting you mad, you know, you're going to play like shit. It's, it's going to happen, you know. Who wants, who's going to play good when they're, when they're, they're angry or, or play, unless, like, the other team's making them angry, they might play better because they get that fire. But either way, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. It's talking about a little bit of uh, keys to winning and that every player should do. And I definitely need to work on it. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out.